to be too capital g here checking out the brand new gimmick puppet support that just got revealed last night coming out of the infinite forbidden and oh my goodness i don't know if you guys have heard about these cards yet or if you have read them or seen them but some of them are just outright ridiculous like these cards are busted there's a couple of them that i read and then i read again and i was like i don't even know why they made this card this is just absurd uh it reminds me of you know when there's like a really bad archetype so what konami does is they'll like overcompensate but they overcompensate too much and they make the the new cards way too strong to kind of make up for the fact that the archetype has sucked for a long time and i understand what they were trying to do here they were trying to make it like a slow burn deck but you know unfortunately if there's a way to exploit something we Yu-Gi-Oh players will probably find out and uh you know if you're someone who complains about gimmick puppet nightmare locking and the branded deck like the the good news is you probably won't be complaining about that anymore because these cards will be what you'll be complaining about uh moving forward because yeah we have a one card certified ftk in gimmick puppets now and uh, yeah, it actually is immune to basically every hand trap in the entire TCG. Also, as I've said numerous times, uh, the Infinite Forbidden will be legal for the NAWCQ. So if you were looking to have fun playing at nationals, like, I don't know, man, might not be, <laughs> might not be as fun as you thought because people are probably going to be playing this gimmick puppet FTK. But yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll uh, review the cards, and I'll show you the one-card FTK, which, you know, it's all over Twitter and whatnot. First card is Gimmick Puppet Little Soldiers, uh, level 4. Um, it's a dart machine. You've actually got a couple of machine duplication targets. I don't know if people are going to play machine dupe in this deck, but, you know, it's just an option. All your effects on this card are hard ones per turn, and when it's normal or special summon, it foolishes a Gimmick Puppet monster with a different level into the graveyard, and then this card's level becomes that. Now, that's important because the next card that we're going to talk about, the Bloody Doll, which is kind of like multi-faker on crack, that basically sets that card up. Like, it's, a, it's essentially a way to rota for it without you know technically searching it you dump it into the graveyard add it to your hand second effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard target two gimmick puppets uh monsters that you control you can increase their levels by four so um that does open up because you know gimmick puppets do a lot of rank eights and level eight plays and stuff like that but this does technically mean that you can go for like a rank 12 xc i don't know if they'll you know be doing that but it's just a thought the next card is really one of the crazy cards and this is gimmick puppet bloody doll uh bloody doll is a dark level eight machine monster Again, it is also a machine duplication target if you want to go there. Uh, hard ones per turns on the first and second effect of this card. And they tried to put a balance factor on this card. I Meaning, I give Konami credit because it says you can't special summon monsters from the extra deck in the turn you activate either one of her effects except gimmick puppets. But the problem is, like, to pull off the FTK, like, that's that's all you need. <laughs> all you need is just gimmick puppet, you know, extra deck monsters. So that's not going to matter. The first effect is... um. Very similar to something like Ultra Geist Multifaker. Uh, if this card is in your hand, you reveal a Gimmick Puppet XC monster from your extra deck. You special summon both a Gimmick Puppet monster from your deck that has a level equal to the XC uh, monster's rank. And then also this card. So that, that actually can be another copy of this card. Just, just keep in mind, like, you can reveal a rank 8 XC monster. Then you can summon, like, a Bloody Doll from your deck. And then you summon the Bloody Doll from your hand. So... At, at worst case scenario, this card was always going to be like a, a one card rank eight, but then the second effect makes it even crazier. If this card is sent to the graveyard, except from the hand, you add it to your hand. So that means that the last card we just talked about, the Little Soldiers, that's kind of like a starter. Like both of these cards are starters and kind of combo enablers, uh, enablers because, you know, Little Soldiers will just foolish the Bloody Doll into the graveyard. Then the Bloody Doll's second effect triggers, adds to the hand, and then you can just activate her other effect to, you know, special summon herself special summon another gimmick puppet monster but it also means that she's like if you hard draw her she can technically be follow-up because you make an xc monster detach her as a material she goes to the graveyard then she just adds herself back to the hand which i mean if you're pulling off the ftk or if you're going for that there is no next turn so you won't really need follow-up but you know if the ftk doesn't go off or something like that you might need a little follow-up third main deck monster is your gimmick puppet cattle stream this is like an extender card uh, it is not a machine dupe target because it's got 2000 attack level eight um first effect is the hard ones per turn 
You can detach one XT material uh, from a mo from your monster. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. I always feel like the whole banish when it leaves the field is never really that applicable when you're talking about XT archetypes because, you know, they <laughs> usually you just XT with them and then it's like they don't leave the field, you know what I mean? Because they're under uh, an XT monster. Second effect, a gimmick puppet XT monster. Uh, that has this card as material gains the effect you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard special summon it to their field in defense position so this is supposed to be how konami is like how they wanted this deck to play right basically gimmick puppets or at least these new gimmick puppets you're supposed to like you know special summon a bunch of cards to your opponent's side of the field and then burn them and blow those cards up and that's that's like a cute little win condition but um you know again we've basically taken it to the the super extreme next up we have quattro except uh he's an xc monster now uh he's got 1500 attack 3100 defense and um he is a rank eight also a machine he's actually generic and the first effect is so cool on this card it's something that in my opinion is like long overdue you detach an xc material from this card and then you can add a rank up magic spell from your deck to your hand also uh during the main phase uh you can get an additional normal summon of a machine monster in addition to like your regular normal summon but that is such a cool effect and honestly it makes me think that this card could be splashable and like i don't know maybe you play like a horse engine horse goes into a lot of level eights like I don't know just being able to get to any rank up uh magic card like some of the rank up cards are pretty crazy i think it's numeron force is the one that like negates all your opponent's face up cards like there's a lot of cool rank up cards out there and this gets basically all of them uh second effect if you special summon a gimmick puppet xc monster you can special summon this card from your grave um uh to either field in defense position then you can add a rank up uh a rank up magic spell from your graveyard to your hand so actually it's a way to recycle the rank up cards and i don't think off the top of my i don't think there's a single rank up magic card that is like a hard once per turn i'm pretty sure you can use all of them like as many times as you want in a turn so you probably just be able to get double rank up plays this is part of the um the ftk just so you know you know and then we have uh and this should have been obvious but we do have a um uh, a chaos version of him i wanted to say that he was a barian but then i was like no i don't, I don't think he actually was because i think he was i think quattro was part of like zexo one with like the tron family with the little kid but the kid's like actually an adult or something like that i think the the barians were were different i think that was zexo two anyways the chaos form of quattro uh basically has the stat line reverse so you're looking at 3100 attack and 1500 defense he is a rank nine because you know that's traditionally how ranking up goes you go from eight to nine unless you're using like skip force or something like that uh you have a first second and third effect with the hard ones for turns first effect if this card is special summon you can add a, a puppet trap from your deck to your hand second effect you can detach one material from this card special summon one monster from either graveyard to your opponent's field in defense position that effect will be relevant because it ties right into the third effect which does burn damage and pops monsters third effect is if a monster or monsters is special summon to your opponent's field you can target one of them destroy it, and if you do inflict burn damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack and i would have liked to do full damage because i think giant grinder does full damage but you can pull off the ftk even doing half damage so it's really not that big of a deal and again during your turn even if your opponent doesn't special summon something you can just force a monster to their side of the field and then burn them blow the monster up they don't really get anything out of it chances are you might just like i don't know you might summon the regular form and just detach that as a material or you know whatever you're, you're gonna do some burn damage uh the field spell is absolutely absurd this is again an example of like it feels like they're overcompensating like they're making one card so unbelievably broken because the archetype has been bad like oh my god if vanquish soul had this card i'd play vanquish soul for like the next five years anyways the field spell is your mansion of the underworld dolls uh you got a hard once per turn on this card's like name uh first effect says if this card resolve when this card resolves you can add a gimmick puppet monster from your deck to your hand that is a basic field spell rota card that's kind of what we expect out of most field spells you know that, that's been a thing since the trick star since abc union hangers since magical meltdown etc etc you usually get a bonus effect with these rota field spells but they're not usually this good the second effect says gimmick puppet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle also they are unaffected by opponents activated non xc monster effects <laughs> that is absolutely insane 
I mean, so, so basically, if you're if you use Valor, if you use Nibiru, if you use you know Cyframe Gamma, none of that stuff is gonna work on any gimmick puppet monsters. Gimmick puppet monsters are only affected by other XC monsters. And uh, I don't know if you looked at the meta game, but it's not <laughs> outside of Pearly, it's not a lot of XC monsters running around. So basically, they're just immune to like all monster effects. Uh, third effect, you can detach one XC material from your monster, target a gimmick puppet monster in your graveyard, special summon it to your opponent's field in defense position. Again, the idea that Konami was going for is that, you know, you summon your big chaos version of Quattro and you just constantly send monsters to your opponent's side of the field and you blow those monsters up and then you're doing burn damage. So and that was like the idea behind it. Last card is your trap. This is a serviced puppet. Um, it's a hard ones per turn on the first and second normal trap card. Target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of gimmick puppet C monsters you control. You take control of them until the end phase. So basically like change of heart temporarily. Well, I guess change of heart is temporarily. So I guess I didn't need to say that. Second effect. If you control a gimmick puppet XC uh, monster, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one XC monster in your graveyard, summon it to either field and defense position. So there you go. Again, another way of being able to actually this one's this one's probably even better because you can summon this uh, to your field like you can get one of your monsters back. Now, I see monsters traditionally are not the most powerful things when they don't have extreme materials. But again, worst case scenario, you could just summon it to your opponent's side of the field. You have your, um, you know, chaos version of Quattro. You just have it pop the monster, blow it up. You know, they have giant grinder on the card art and i think they're trying to tell you like hey use giant grinder you know your opponent's uh, special summon a monster to your opponent's side of the field and then use giant grinder do some burn damage but yeah i mean i get what konami was going for here with the idea of this archetype but unfortunately they just like there's a one card ftk and the field spell gives you so much insulation that it's going to be pretty difficult to stop but um these cards are incredibly powerful i mean the field spell the, the the one that foolish is the the bloody doll which is just absolutely insane as uh, a card that is easy to get to and then you know this follow-up plus a combo extender you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below konami is this this set started out pretty slow where they just revealed exodia at first and then they hadn't revealed anything uh for a while but now they've they've started giving out some some bangers here so you guys let me know what you think uh leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always